Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how I mastered SQL in just 15 days. So SQL is a very important subject, especially if you go for a data analyst role or even if you go for a software engineering role, either a back end or a full stack, then the company expects that you have some knowledge of SQL. So SQL is a very important field in these roles and SQL, some people consider it very difficult to learn, but let me tell you that it is very easy. So let me tell you that in my placements, I was learning SQL with no prior knowledge and I learned it within 15 days. So I'm going to tell you how you can do the same, what resources you can use and the exact strategy that I used and you can use too. So let's get into it. So the first thing is that for learning SQL, you need to have a little bit of theoretical knowledge of databases. For example, you need to know what a database is, what a table is, what are the columns, what are the attributes. And you need to have a little bit of theoretical knowledge about the syntax of SQL as well. And a very easy way to do this is to go on YouTube and search Edureka's video. So Edureka has a whole course on SQL. You can see that on YouTube, it is completely free of cost. You can watch the videos from there and you'll have a good knowledge of the concepts of SQL and concepts of databases as well. Apart from that, you can also go on geeks for geeks as geeks for geeks has a whole section for database management systems and they also have a section for SQL as well. So you can learn the concepts from there. You can learn the theoretical knowledge from there. And now after you've learned the theory, after you've learned the concept, then the next part is going into SQL itself. So in SQL, you have syntax, you have different things like your joins, inner joins, you have multiple statements, multiple queries. So you need to learn all that. And the best website to learn SQL, the best website to learn SQL with no competition is w3schools.com. So go on this website, bookmark it, and there you can practice SQL from a beginner. So even if you don't know about anything about SQL, you can learn from the website itself and you can practice some beginner level problems from w3schools as it is. And a very good part about w3schools.com is that they have a SQL editor where they have databases in the back end so you can run the queries in the SQL editor and see how the queries are fetching the data from the databases. So you don't need to install any DB, you don't need to install Oracle or anything. You can just go to w3schools.com and run your queries there and practice some of the basics and easy and beginner level problems from w3schools.com. Now, once you feel like you have a good knowledge of the syntax of SQL, once you feel like you're comfortable running queries and fetching data from the tables, then the next part is solving a lot and a lot of problems. Because when you go in interviews, either for a data role or for a SD role, then you'll have to face some very complex problems for SQL. For example, in the problems, they'll have nested queries. They'll have a very complex situation in which you have to basically bring some specific data from the table. So you need to have a good knowledge of problem solving in SQL for that. So for that, you have to solve a lot of problems. So as a beginner level, w3schools.com is very good, but you need to solve some tough level problems or some medium difficulty problems. For that, there's two websites. One is sqlpractice.com, which is again a very good website for practicing SQL problems. And apart from that, you have hackerrank.com. So hackerrank also has a whole section for SQL where you can practice SQL problems. Once you've practiced a lot of problems, then this is what you need to do. Just go on Google randomly and search top 50 SQL interview problems. So it's basically divided into three parts. First is learning the concepts. Second is learning the SQL language itself. And the third thing is solving a lot and a lot of problems. So for solving the problems, like I mentioned, hackerrank.com and sqlpractice.com are great websites. After that, you can even practice company-wise SQL problems. So you can search something like SQL problems company-wise where you will see SQL problems that were asked specifically in companies interview. And after you do all that, once you learn the theory and once you learn the concepts, once you learn SQL and once you solve problems, then within 15 days before you know it, you will have mastered SQL. SQL is not at all difficult like a lot of people think it to be. If you give it the proper amount of time, if you dedicate a good amount of time for SQL, then you will have no trouble in it and you'll be able to clear your interview whether it's for the data role or whether for its SD backend role or a full stack role and you'll have no trouble clearing the SQL interviews. So that's pretty much it. Just follow what I said, go to the websites, practice, learn, practice, and before you know, you'll be a master of this art. And apart from that, if you have any doubts, then feel free to leave in the comments. I'll be sure to answer. Let's see you again in the next video. Thank you.